Hello and welcome, friends and family, to Tale Tales: The Walking Dead. I'm Mark Dux, and this is Tale Tales: The Walking Dead. We're gonna play this game. Yes, I feel emotional. I want to be even more emotional. This is gonna be so fun. Um, I have played the game before, so I know spoils and stuff. But it was like two years ago, so I'm not that well, like, versed in it. So we're gonna play this. Also, kind of, we kind of gonna play this because the third one was recently announced. The third season. I have not played the second season, so that's gonna be fun. Um, I think yeah, we can start a new, new game. New game. We we playing a new game. Uh, nah, fam. Oh no, I like that. We're gonna play episode one, a new day. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. The Walking Dead. It's a beautiful morning. Sorry. Sup? <laughs> Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Huh? You know what they say about reckoning. You know what they say about reckoning. I don't, but I reckon it's a lot like assuming. Yeah, something like that. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Every time? Every time? Every time. What do we got here in this cop car? We got the dude. That That's pretty much it. I followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. So have you got an opinion? You've got an opinion then? Wouldn't say that. I go in for that innocent till proven guilty thing. Even considering who they say you killed. Be advised, uh, medical personnel and route to heart the old very intense twenty. Any of that seem important to you? All of it. But that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. <laughs> I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on a six year. You meet your wife in Athens? Yeah, touch your subject. You wanna know how I see it? I got much choice. I got much choice? Sure don't. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Probably. I don't know what I did, but... No, nah, no, nah, fuck you. Oh, she married the wrong guy. <sighs> no? That was my- that was my choice, man. That sounds pretty- what? That some stuff is happening. Okay, then. I'm driving this man once. He he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Huh. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. <laughs> Not tell him he's got to stop. That's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. 
So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mom, <laughs> it's all a big mistake. What it a wasn't puss. me. So he did do it. So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. Whoa. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. That's he fucked goes to up. Show. People up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious. As a dude, if I do say so. In the road. This other time. Why? Oh. It's probably fine. It's probably fine. Nothing happened. I. Uh, yeah. What? It's a beautiful morning. Get up, dude. Nice watch. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, language. Thirsty. Ah. Fuck. Where did the dude go? Hey, officer. Hey, officer. It's a gun. How did he have his gun out? Hey. Oh. Hey, officer. Are you all right? I'm still cuffed back here. Can I kick out the window? Uh. Yeah, I can. Uh. Damn, I'm strong. Uh. Uh. That's not that easy, I need man. To drag myself out that window. <laughs> Wiggle, wiggly. You gotta use some wiggle bones. That's a that's a long fall. But it looked like the officer was wearing, oh, was wearing his seatbelt, and apparently he got out. But how the hell are we alive? Come on, man. Shotgun shell. I'm just gonna grab this. And I'm gonna grab this just in case. I mean, something could happen. Maybe Zambos. That is a possibility. I mean, the game is called The Walking Dead. Yeah, I know. I. Dude, it'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. A oh, good point. And he probably has the keys, doesn't he? Officer? Hey, Officer, are you okay? Now nah, let's just run away. <laughs> okay. Hey, man. Oh yeah, this this is not scary. Oh come on! Now they're just, now they're just messing with us. Oh shit! That actually scared me a little bit. If if that freaked you out, why are you, move away from the thing? Move away from the bot. Oh, it's saved. I'm scared. Officer. Hey man! Holy shit! Nope, back in. We're backing up. Where's the shotgun? Get away from me! Get get the gun. Oh come on. You take it. Do it, man. Come on. Don't make me do this! I'ma shoot you in the brain! What? That, what? Whoa. Man. I mean... This skin's all rotten and he smells like 
shit. What the hell is yeah, this? Yeah, that's, that's a weird thing. Why do Zambos... I mean... Oh, hey. Help! Go get someone! There, there's been a shooting! I shot him in the head. Whoops! What? Okay. We need to get our hashtags out of here. Hug. Hug me. <laughs> Hey, we made Going in. Excuse me, ma'am, sir. Have you heard the good news? <laughs> Sorry. Hello. Anybody home? I need a little help. Hello. There's something going on. No shit, Sherlock. Coming in. You a freaking no detective? Shit, okay. Poof. Game ends. Ah. Hello. I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. I'm trying so hard to to, to not make a black guy I joke. I'm trying so hard to not make a black guy joke. Ooh. I have so many. I'm trying to be professional. That's that's cute. But that's the thing. Why why was he already rotten? I mean, we were there for like maybe we passed out, but still. I mean, it wouldn't. Oh. Hello. Three new messages. Message one left at 5:43 p.m. Hey, Sandra. This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Clementine. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message two. Left Ooh, at spring break. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Whoa. Please, How did I not please, see the blood? Just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Marietta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. How, how did I not see the blood? Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. It's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. Whoa. Some emotional shit. Daddy? Huh? No, I'm just I'm just a regular old man. Just trying to fi find my way in life. I have not committed any crime of of any sort. Oh, a walkie-talkie. Hello? 
You need to be quiet. Okay. Are, Are you, okay? you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me, but I'm hiding until my parents come home. Yeah, I heard that message. Uh, sorry to break the news, little girl, but I don't think they're coming back. What's your name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I figured as much. I'm Lee. Oh, hey, Lee. We didn't know your name before this. Um, how old are you? How old are you? Eight. And you're all alone? Yes. I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh, 37. Okay. Cool, huh? Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Where are you? Where are you? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Hey. <laughs> Where the hell were you? Pushing the buttons! Pushing the buttons! Don't... You already did that. Look at... Pushing the button real hard. Uh, give me the hammer, please. Thank you. Goodbye. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Well, that girl's girl for life. <laughs> Man. Hi there. As I said, Did hi, I'm, kill it? I'm Lee, 37. <laughs> um, something I else did. Something else did. Before me, I think. I heard her scream two nights ago. Maybe one of the monsters got her. Two nights ago? Yeah, that's probably what happened. You've been... All by yourself through well, this? Ha have I been out yeah, for two days? I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while. You know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened. But I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Hmm. If it's been two days... Everybody's already figured out the situation. I think we gotta get out of here once the sun goes down. We need to get out of this neighborhood. It's not safe. We're less likely to be seen if we move at night. My parents might come home. We won't go far. We'll try to find shelter and come back here with others. That sounds good. But we can hide in my treehouse until then. It'll be a tough climb with this leg, but that's a good idea. Let's go. Aww. That's adorable. Maybe you should look. Actually, it's probably better to do it during the day. Now I think about it. Let's stay quiet. We'll head out to the front yard and follow the road out of the neighborhood. Okay. It'll be okay. Stay near me. And we'll move as fast as we can. Gotta go fast. We gotta go Sanic. You know Sanic. You're 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 eight. You gotta know Sanic. He's all in the memes. <laughs> Kids love him. <laughs> okay, I must stop.
You with me? I Whoa. Found the bastard. Are we going to die? Uh They're after me, not you. Why? I don't know. Stay down! Georgia State Patrol! Dude, he won't listen to that. We're friendly. There's a little girl here. <laughs> Good. Shit, you're not one of those things. Neither of us are. Oh, damn, you've got a little girl. We're sorry I just said that. so. Well, Andre, sorry about that. It's Officer Mitchell. My name's Sean. Sean Green. This is Andre. Officer Mitchell. Did you see any of those things? One of them just got our buddy Chet. A lot in the forest. I saw a lot in the forest, but that was a while ago. Yeah, one we're looking for is still in the neighborhood. Oh shit, you hurt your leg pretty bad. Look, help us find the thing that got our buddy, and we'll take you and your daughter down to my dad's farm to safety. He should be able to fix your leg up too. Um, I'm not a dad. Um, I'm just some guy, man. Just some guy. Some guy? Yeah. She's alone? Whoever you are, let's get a move on. We just were. Oh, shit. Oh, hey, shit. dude. Let's go. Get to my car. Go. Get a move on. <laughs> 